Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video challenge. This week uh, we're gonna do some Taekwondo stuff because last week we did some Jiu Jitsu stuff. So what we're gonna do is next week's attribute is power. And so you're gonna be learning about that in class. So I'm gonna give you guys something this weekend and next week that you guys can work on uh, at home. So we have here a magazine and what you wanna do is find an old magazine that you don't need and then we're gonna tear pages out of it and we're gonna use it uh, just like whenever we break boards. So the power attribute has different elements. One of those elements is contact area and another element is weight rotation. And so that's what we get to work on whenever we're hitting a target. And the nice thing about this target is you get to work on follow through as well because you don't wanna stop at your target. If it was just a pad, it's easy to stop. We wanna follow through and we wanna rip through the paper just like we wanna break through our boards. Uh, those of you who are in our leadership program, one of your board breaks this cycle is upset knife hand strike. So that's what we're gonna break down and talk about today. That's what I'd like to see you do in the challenge, but you can also use any other techniques that you want as well. And then take the video and post it on our Facebook group and also post it on your personal timeline and hashtag ATA Legacy. And again, for doing this, you'll get a free fist bump from me whenever you come to class. Now, I'm gonna have Mr. Howerton come out and we're gonna demonstrate how to do this. So, um, I'm just gonna open up the magazine and tear out a page. And the great thing about this is it's easy and it's cheap. And you don't have to have a board and you don't have to hurt your hand from hitting a board over and over. He's gonna hold this the same way that we will hold your board for testing. So he's holding top and bottom and not side to side. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my set position just like whenever I'm going to break the board. I want to pull my hand all the way back and then I'm going to follow through. I don't want to stop whenever I get to the paper, but I want to swing all the way through so that I'm turning my hips and I'm following through my target. So it'll look just like this. Okay, as soon as I do that, a lot of times what's going to happen is it's going to tear at one of the ends and you can use it again. So right here. Once you've torn it so many times that that you're gonna need a new sheet. Boom, just take another one out. So efficiency, you get like three shots for every piece of paper. Now, um, you can use other techniques here, but make sure that when you're holding that you have your hands out of the way. So if you're doing a punch, it could be held either way, but if you're doing a round kick, you definitely don't wanna hold it this way or somebody's gonna kick your hands. You're gonna wanna come this way so that you make sure that you go through it without hitting your, your board holder's hands or your paper holder's hands. Um, I'm gonna have Mr. Howerton hold that one more time, but we're gonna go at an angle here so that you can see some of the weight rotation. Step in just a little bit, okay? And then also what I'm gonna have Mr. Howerton do is something that we want our students to do for our board breaks and tests, and this time he's gonna present it. So I'm gonna be here in my stance ready to go, and as soon as he pulls the paper up, then I'm gonna go. Yeah! Here, okay? Let's try that at home. And again, post it, hashtag ATA Legacy, put it on our group, put it on your personal page, free fist bump for doing it. Thanks, guys.